Hey guys. So this is the finished look. I have my hair on. Um, this is um, Chris's hair shop, Armenian um, hair that I have on. I made it into a wig. Um, I don't know <laughs> um, if this is much of a, a beginner's look. Um, I tried to keep it simple as possible. Um, but what you have to realize is that when you're, you're you know, you're starting out doing your makeup, start with a lighter color underneath your brow bone and gradually go down steps. And you, you basically putting your darker right into your um, your outer crease. And the tape helps to to really you know give you where to your stopping point at. And once you once you're doing that, you can just gauge it how you're going down, and then put you know, whatever you want in your lid. You know, a lighter lid or darker. You know, it goes for it goes for the same as if you're doing a if you want to do a dark smoky eye. You know, you start lighter and then you add into the crease, the darker color, and you're blending up. You know, always blend. Blend, 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 blend. So, um, yeah, I hope this was helpful for somebody. Um, if you want me to do another one, a, a beginner um, look, something simple, super simple. I can do like, you know, a brow bone and a, a color on the lid or you know add a little shimmer because I love shimmer and you know I'd be happy to do it all do it again so I'm hoping I'm hoping this really helped I hope this was actually a beginner's look I don't know um, I feel like it is but I I kind of feel like I did too many steps but I want to make it simpler simpler -er, if that's the word um, so I don't know, I may do this again because I feel like I may have did too many steps, but um, I like how it came out, I like my foundation. Um, the foundation I have on is matte, a matte foundation. Um, I don't normally wear mattes all the time. I like matte foundation, I just don't like it all the time. All the time. The first matte foundations I, were, I was using was from MAC and I, I didn't really like the, um, what's it called? The, it's not Match Master. It's another one before they came out with Match Master. So um, I didn't really like it that much, um, but I kept on at it. But until I found other things, but I like um, Luminous Foundation. But I do kind of make it like a semi matte because how oily my skin is. But um, I don't know. I just like foundation at this point. This is like I planned on stopping, but. It's not happening anytime so so I'm just trying out new things um, I will be doing um, a tutorial with my face atelier foundation and I want to talk about my NARS luminous um, all day foundation and kind of like a walkthrough like with all the foundations that I have just about the different ones and kind of like break it down into the ones I really really love and the ones not so much so um yeah this is my finished look <laughs> so bye guys I'm back with a tutorial and I had a, a request to do a beginners um, makeup tutorial so I wanted to be cost 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 efficient so um i use my morph morphe palette this is the jaclyn hill one but you can get any of these colors um on morph uh, morphe brushes.com for i think it's like 2.99 i don't have the actual numbers to the to these eyeshadows but i think um someone somewhere in YouTube land has um, the numbers for all of these so let's get into it so the first thing I did I wanted to go pink today I wanted something pink so um, I have my Urban Decay primer potion Urban Decay no have one NARS um, um, primer let me show it to you 
this right here I have this on it's like getting washed out because of the light but I have this on and nothing else so I'm gonna start off with uh, Max Pent Pot and this is a little I think it's like $16 probably 15 but I love these so I'm gonna start off and I'm, this is laying low paint pot by the way I'm gonna start off and put that into the crease and higher like right by the bar underneath the bravo like that that's what we got going on now I'm going to use the um oh this is Maybelline's color tattoo metal this is tw um, 24 hour eyeshadow this is in 55 inked pink has some shimmer to it so I'm going to take that on the brush oh this is a Morphe brush too the part of the set I bought it was um it was called the contour set okay the next step we're going to put on a let me show you like this we're gonna do the brow bone and I'm gonna go with this color right here It's a shimmery color. Okay, now we're gonna go into the crease and we're gonna go with this color right here. We're gonna go right below where we put, this is the brow bone highlight and we're gonna go right here. Oh, I need to take teeth. Okay, now we can go in. I'm gonna hit that tape and go. I'm gonna bring it all the way over. like that now I'm gonna go into the color next to it which is this right here so we went here and I'm gonna go into this one it's like a mauvey pink I'm gonna go below where we we're gonna go below and then go over into that color Okay, now I'm going to go into this color, a little bit darker. I'm going below the other colors. We'll just lay it down. Just hitting that tape. Going back into the color. Blend, blend, blend. Okay. Now, same brush. I'm using my um, Mac um, 217. Get the excess off of there. I'm gonna go into this color right here. It's like a brown, reddish color. Down my brush. I'm gonna lay this lower. And we've laid the rest of um, the colors. And we're just gonna hit the lid. Just lay the brush flat and just sweep it into the lid. This brush is ideal for this type of blending because I can just lay it flat. I can use it kind of like um, a shader brush. Just sure I hit that tape. Go 
back in. And blend out. This part is, is clear. And we're going to overlap. I'm going to take this color right here at the bottom. This is like a, a shimmery plum color. And I'm going to lay that right on the lid. Just tap. Like pat, 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 pat. Basically going over the, um, going slightly over into that burgundy, that red brown color. Now I'm going to go into this one right here. And this is the very, very shimmery um, pink. Pull it up some more into the inner corner and pat that over the other color. Just like that. Now I'm going to take this pencil brush and I'm going to go into that burgundy color and I'm going to go into this little darker color right next to it this one and this one I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going right into my crease with it because I want this to be a little bit more darker I'm going to take the blending brush and just the Make sure I don't have any harsh lines. Like that. And I'm going to wing out my uh, liner. I'm going to use my Makeup Forever um, ink liner. I haven't used, I have the um, pencil one. I just haven't used this one yet like this. This little tip. I haven't used this one yet, so I want to try it out. So let's see if I can be in frame. Again, the um, tape really helps to guide you. like that. 